Hi there, it's Victoria and welcome to my creative lab. In today's video we are going to create a diversion ourselves, make simple animations and add 3D to our portfolio website to make it more authentic and personalized. Let's begin with our 3D version. You may say that I will probably use Luma for 3D scanning or Polycam that now are quite famous for 3D scanning of uh, objects from a real environment uh, and uh, someone makes it quite well but maybe they are pro or had a great light but this is what Wait I've got <laughs> and it's not to look like me I swear and this looks like a worm from black man no thanks maybe next time but you can try the workflow will be the same for making my 3D version, I decided to choose uh, two ways, and first uh, is uh, Avatar. Here you can create a full body avatar, because I've already created mine. Uh, you choose to create a new one and take three photos of your face uh, from the camera right away, or take suitable photos and upload them. Immediately you'll get your avatar and uh, can customize the proportion of body, skin tone, hairstyle and so on. And a nice feature is that you can choose uh, to pose not only static, but uh, animated one. Oh wow, what I actually can do? <laughs> Interesting, can someone already try to jump like this in Vision Pro? Sure, yes. When the avatar is ready, click to the download button and follow the instructions. Uh, by the way, body only, this is the avatar without hair, outwear or in animations. So I'll use uh, this animation. Next step, let's jump into Splay and import your avatar. As you can see, we need to correct some elements like hair color. So for all object adjustments, use the right sidebar. In detail how to work is plan, create object, make animations, uh, I show in this video. Okay, cool. We have our avatar with animation. You can export uh, it to the website without any modifications. Uh, uh, how to do it, I'll show a bit later. But I went a bit further and added screens of my YouTube channel and LinkedIn profile. For animations, you can use uh, states and events to make transition between states. And this is how you create realistic looking avatar. Now we'll create a gamified avatar that can look like you or almost like you. Register in a Ready Player Me and create uh, your avatar with uploaded photo or by yourself, as I did as an example. Then download the avatar. By the way, this is not an animated one, but you can do it on a, another platform, which is called Mixama and uh, all the useful links uh, I leave in the description below. I decided to use this avatar and make kind of hologram effect for it, and this is the result. If you want a similar effect, just apply all settings that I did for a background effect and check the adjustments for 3D. And how to add particles, so this is part that flies near the avatar. Uh, I have short video, check it out. The last step is to add our avatar to website. Go to any website builder where you can see the option to add HTML. I'll work with Tilda. I chose a template for the portfolio website. And in the editing mode of this block, I'm adding an option HTML and resizing it for placing my avatar. After this, return to the spline to export your avatar and get the code to put on the website. 
There are various formats in which you can export your file, links to share, images, videos, uh, even now available to at Vision Pro. But uh, we need a viewer and uh, copy the code. You can adjust place settings to allow rotate or zoom or add a hint that user can move your 3D. After adjustments, not to forget apply your changes. And when you edit uh, your code to the website, after some more corrections, uh, you just need to click uh, Update Viewer. Let's back to the website and add our avatar. In the same way, you can add anything you want to create a scene in Spline and add it to the, your website. I hope you enjoyed it and not to forget to subscribe for more upcoming creative videos that I'll be releasing soon.